this is something I wanted to touch on real quick. Um, so there's this guy that I used to watch um, called Jings. He has several channels. Uh, I hadn't heard anything for like a month or two months or whatever the fuck it is. But then I saw like one of his alts uploaded a video. And I like, I don't know how I, I got unsubscribed from the original. I don't know. Maybe it's true. People, when people say that, that YouTube just randomly unsubscribes them. Um, but anyway, like I, I went back to their main channel from the alt and oh. one of their older videos. I'm, you know, staying hydrated right now. Um, one of their, uh, not old, I mean, it's like, from when I checked it, it was maybe like a week or so before that, but that was like a week or two ago. And they had a video where they made some comment about how I had said that they had good leverages for Olympic lifting. And then he said, well, but I worked hard and, and you know, this and that, and I don't know. I'm not sure what to think about that. So if they watch this, you know, um, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt on that, but I never claimed that having, first of all, I never even said you had ideal leverages for Olympic lifting, uh, but I never claimed that having favorable proportions, you know, segmental proportions for Olympic lifting meant that you didn't work hard, right? Everybody's got a starting point and, I could give a few examples, right? You know, like Dean and, you know, Richard, they're, you know, like Richard, he, he's, you know, pressing 500 fucking pounds. You know, it's ridiculous, right? Clearly they have genetics for lifting. That doesn't mean they didn't work hard, right? Luke Yeager, the guitarist, he has a solo project called uh, Sleep Terror. And he's got videos on his own channel. When he was like 11, he got a guitar. And he's fucking sitting there like by the Christmas tree soloing to Ing Wayne Malmsteen. Right? Now, does that mean he, he didn't work hard as a guitarist? No, it just meant he started like automatically up here. I could give a million examples, but I never claimed that you didn't work hard. I don't know if it was just part of your act or whatever, like, or, you know, if you're doing what I do where, you know, it's like somebody will say something and it like brings up a topic and I just, it, it's kind of like a launching pad for a different discussion, but I'll let you explain that if you feel like it. Otherwise, I don't know. I, I'm not going to, I don't, I don't like it when people claim I say, say things I never said and that's not something I ever said, right? The, you know, I'm about to put together a new computer. I brought the parts with me to do it. What I like about here is this table is wood, so it's anti-static. I can set it up as, like, an open build. I don't need a case. <coughs> that, fucking, that fucking burp, it was, like, swelled up. It's like, wow. Um... But I, I was reading computer magazines when I was 11, right? I built my first computer when I was 13. When I was 14, 15, I was getting paid, in case, some cases, 100 plus an hour to work on computers for cash, right? Does that mean I didn't work hard? No, it just means I just had a natural inclination, right? Or music stuff, like we both do music. That's another example, right? You can work hard, you know, to learn an instrument or, you know, learn mixing and mastering or doing beats and all this stuff. But there's there's certain people that like they just they have like the ear for it. Right. I, I'm not going to go past that point. That's, you know, all I could really do at this point is restate examples. But I don't <clears throat> I don't know if that was the claim or not. But, you know, that that that's absolutely not what I ever I never said you didn't work hard. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, well, I, I was going to add just because I thought of it. Um, I actually had a video editor now on here so I can like add stuff together if I need to on the phone while I'm not on the computer. But um, yeah, like here's a good example of sort of like the antithesis. I have T-Rex arms and a barrel chest. I'm built for bench press and yet my bench press still sucks. Right. Now, what does that mean? It, I just probably, probably to an extent what that means is I just don't work hard enough on bench, right? 
I've been doing it more lately just because I'm bored of pressing. But pressing, I'm like natural at, right? But even then, I worked hard on press. I'm built for pressing, and yet my genetics aren't good enough, uh, you know, at least as far as I'm aware to this point, to, to be a 500 presser like Andrew Richard or somebody, right? I might not even have a 405 bench in my cars, right? But the, the hard work was st- still there. But so the favorable favorable proportions don't mean that you're going to be amazing at something, but it also doesn't mean you didn't work hard. And you could have those proportions and work hard and, and still suck, right? Like in my case, I work, you know, I, I suck at the bench. Um, I don't remember who it was that said some some kind of. I mean, I'm sure multiple people have said something similar, but you know, uh, Julius Maddox, as far as I'm aware, is still working on that 800 bench. You know, make a new world record, but like, there's also the participation, right? Like, it's it's possible that there might be 900 pound raw benchers natural out there, and we'll just never know because they're not interested, right? Or if they went to the gym, they might just bullshit it. You know, or, you know, they might because of their you know their genetics, they might just really easily get to a one eighty five bench, two twenty five bench. But because they never work hard, so to speak, they might not. You know, they're pro- they're not going to hit the numbers they could hit, right? So you have to look at everything in a combination, holistically, in a continuum, right? So just so just to restate it one one more time, I don't know if you were actually accusing me of saying that or if it's just part you know just the, what I, I give people the benefit of the doubt but I, I didn't i didn't say i'm not taking your hard work away from you i've said in videos before where you asked me for advice but like i mentioned like there's really not a whole lot i could tell you like clearly you're already um you know clearly well read on the on the matters you know so i, I could already tell like even when you do your joke videos, just stuff you say, that's not something that somebody who, who didn't really study it in depth would say, right? So I'm not, I'm absolutely not saying that, right? So I'm being nice about it and, you know, give me some clarification on that, right? 